Welcome back, Vault Hunters. This is Papa Meerkat, and we are in the wonderful and awesome world of Borderlands 2. And I'm in Sanctuary and not in the BA crate or BA attitude. Alright. And you probably noticed if you've been following my channel that I did not upload on Sunday and I did not upload on Tuesday. Reason being, if you watched, um, I'm going to pause here for a moment for you guys, but to, to explain. If you watched my Monday episode, which is the finale of uh, the Mr. Torg DLC, and I was having a lot of issues with frames, the game was chugging a bit, and the reason being is my, no matter if I changed the thermal compound on my CPU that was connected to my uh, liquid cooler, it still was overheating. It just was doing it slower, and I found out why. When I did that video, my CPU, my CPU was overheating. The whole time when I was uh, uh, making that video on Monday, my last Borderlands 2 episode, I had to go out and spend $80 for a new liquid cooler because the other one I had was a pre-built unit and it had no way to fill it up. There's no valves or anything on it to fill it up. It's just one of those cheapy pre-made ones. And it's uh, when you shake it a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit, you can hear a lot of sloshing. It means there's a little bit of liquid in it. It's, it's supposed to be a lot fuller than that. The liquid cooler was working, but it, it was pumping, but it was not providing the adequate, you know, cooling rate. <clears throat> because it, its liquid apparently was mostly gone. So the other day, Tuesday, I had to install a new liquid cooler. And this would cost me $80. It's a uh, Corsair brand. But it does have a valve on the side of the, uh, the radiator that allows you to refill it, which is awesome. And my computer is running at optimal speeds again. As you notice, I'm running around here. There is zero lag or frame drops or glitchiness. It's running like normal again. It's like my computer is reborn. Alright guys, well, I'm going to get back into playing here. And what we're going to be doing today, I did leave a quest back at the BA Crater. And I'll show you guys right here. Interview with the Vault Hunter. Uh, find Lost Recorders. Do you think I should be able to do this? And there's an Undiscovered. Do you think we should do these two before starting the next DLC? Because we left some stuff undone. And then we have... The Difficulty 3, which we skipped. We did that on, uh, intentionally. And you ever consider doing commercials? We have this mission too. Let's see if there's anything else. Welcome to our episode. Yeah, this is not the same one. Then we got uh, Pethe Invisible. And then we have another... Oh, this one has level 50. So we're going to skip the two level 50s. We're going to skip the uh, Invincible right now. But we do have some missions still left at the BA Crater. What I was going to do is start the next DLC, which is the Hammerlock DLC. But I'm going to instead, we're going to go back to the BA Crater for the uh, this week. And finish up the la those three quests. And then next week on Monday, we will go and start the Hammerlock DLC. I'll say why not. It shouldn't take that long. It'll be one video's worth. And I want to get stuff done, even though in the main game, I kind of left a bunch of quests. But before we get started there, I did do some quests while uh, after I changed my uh, my intercooler on my PC. I wanted to test to see how well it's running. So I played more Borderlands 2, and that's why I'm in Sanctuary. And I earned some new items. And I kept them on me. I got this the floated uh dominator never used it yet dodge this that's got burst fire it's pretty neat kind of like the way it looks it looks like kind of like a nerf gun or something i'm gonna zoom out a little bit I might take a picture of this and put it on my uh thumbnail that's nice i like the look of it just haven't used it yet and we got the surfy and not a animosity. We got a operational terror uh, and this industrial thinking. 
So it's nothing too crazy, just random stuff. I had to go back to the Caustic Caverns to do these quests. Uh, it was search for the treasure <clears throat> that I got from... Man, what is that the name of that area? Sawtooth Cauldron, there you go. Alright, so let's go back to the BA Crater and we're going to finish up the missions there. And then next week we will start up the next DLC. I'm going to save the... Uh, uh, assault on Digistruct, or the Digistruct Peak last. I've never completed it before, so I'm going to save it till last. It's probably not that hard, but we'll see. Alright, so I'm looking for BA Crater. There we go. Interview with the Vault Hunter. Not to bitch, it gives me an excuse to go listen to the music here again. I like the music in this DLC. Even though it's short really short all right all the way back at the very beginning i might go to the shop up here and sell off the the extra stuff but i'm going to keep the other gun the one that has the red flavor text because uh, anything with red flavor text is special but you can get another one in the next playthrough anyway so so here it is this is normal that yeah that was the one I was using before. The kitten, I switched it out. Assassin class mods and a bouncy electric grrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
It's like fly swatting, you know. Fly, flies, get out of here, flies. Or like that shoe fly, don't bother me situation. Wee. Wasn't very much of a wee, but hey. Oh, 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 death. Death zone. Come on, man. Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Torg. I don't, uh, on the PC version, I, I only, I think it's only, um, one of the Headhunter DLCs. The odds aren't your Vault Hunter's favor, Moxie. What makes you think they'll survive? You ever heard of a guy named Captain Flint? The King of the Rivers? He was, until he met the Vault Hunter. Sugar, my Vault Hunter has laughed at Handsome Jack, defeated the Bloodshots, killed Pyro Pete, and single-handedly defeated more of Pandora's horrors than everyone else in this tournament put together. If anybody has a chance of surviving this tournament, hell, of surviving life on this planet, it's them. Oh yeah. She's got a point. That's one heck of a point, too. Only the Vault Hunters survive 100% of the time. And if we don't, we got uh, respawn stations. Or Digistruct, or uh, Digi stations. I don't even know what they're called anymore. The New U, there you go. Do they even call it the New U stations in this game? I know they did in the first game. Man, don't shoot at me, man. I'm a good guy here. I think all the rest of the tapes are in the middle. Don't think I'm gonna do the death race, I'm just going to do a few more quests and it will be done in there. Oh. There it is. Well, this is easy to get. Foxy, is there anything you'd like to say to people listening? You'd better believe it. I've got a message to the other gladiators in the tournament. Just one teeny tiny message. Motor Motor, Flyboy, Piston. If you have any desire to survive this tournament, you will listen to my message very carefully. And that message is... Run. <laughs> oh, that was good. He come out of that door with a live grenade, I shot him. He flew, or the grenade blew up, he flew up in the air and then I shot him in the air. That guy just had the worst luck I've ever seen anybody have. Except for me and my wife. Man, we are, Our luck in real life is so bad. What happened? <laughs> every time we get every time we get knocked down, we get kicked around a bit. Every time. When is our time, you know what I'm saying? Moxie, the torque bike fans wanna know. Moxie, Moxie! I won't be on the show. Tina, don't! Tina! I'm gonna be on the show! I'm gonna be the star of the show! Moxie, who the hell is that? Just a trainer I hire, don't worry about her. It's the Tina Show, start with me, Tiny Tina. Tonight our special guest is Mr. Tor. Mr. Tor, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, Tina, I'm 43. I'm the founder of the Tor Corporation. Don't encourage her. That's the end of my show. I'd like to thank Mr. Tor and my musical guest, Kyle Moderation. Good night, everybody! So, did you actually want to ask me the question, or...? Tina said good night, Moxie. Show's over! Motherfucker! <laughs> That's funny. That is pretty funny. That's Tiny Tina for you, though. Alright, off up here. It's the last tape, and then we're going to go after another quest. I did a quest for uh, the Monster Parts quest and that Treasure Hunting quest yesterday off camera. To test my computer and get caught up on the side quest I left behind in the main storyline. On the main game. Dang it, man. Let me get up there. There you go. I was trying to make it where I jumped evenly between them, but. That second step. Nope. <laughs> did, did not want that to happen. It did not want that to happen. If I can speak today. Huh? 
And there it is. So, Box, what are you and the Vault Hunter gonna do if y'all open the vault? Personally, I plan on getting back in the limelight. Open a new Underdome, hear the crowd screaming my name again. It'll be nice. What about the Vault Hunter? They'll probably keep grabbing loot and killing stuff. You know, the usual. The usual. Always. The loot. You yeah. know. You found all the interviews? Gorgeous. Just bring them back to me and I'll make sure they're broadcast all over the crater. <laughs> Whatever. That painted town bicycle of yours won't change anybody's mind. We all know you're nothing more than a scared little coward, don't we? He's dead. How's he talking to me right now? Ghosts. That was said he's a ghost. Alright, so I'm gonna go look at other missions here. We got a uh the BA crater defeat the horde of horrors in the appetite for destruction. Oh, so that's in the arena itself. We gotta go towards the, the arena. <clears throat> Do you? Oh man, no! <laughs> the bridge was like, I'm going to stop you. That's a death race. Death races are a pain. I beat the second round before, but it's been a while. And it takes like you have to know every shortcut on the track. There's several of them. So what I recommend you guys do if you want to complete all the rounds is to practice on the track several times. And then find all your shortcuts and everything that you need to know about and then attempt the race. Oh. I was uh, wondering, it must have bounced off the wall and came back. So this will be my actual finale video, just catching everything up. Not everything though, that's most of the stuff. Where's my guns going? You see a barrel? Use it. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. I still haven't changed my skin. I'll do it before we start the Hammerlock DLC. Sounds like a plan. We'll just stick with the poop face for now. It literally looks like something pooped on my face, okay. Yeah. You know, you would think that all these dudes are pistons, guys. Out to test stop you from winning the tournament? No, these are all Mr. Torg's guys. He just sends them out to give you some fun before you get to the arena. Crazy, right? That's just Mr. Torg for you, though. He's kind of crazy in the head, you know? Uh, this uh, bounty board is for the arena. Defeat the Horde of Horrors. Yep. Let's go. I got my shoddy. I'd like to have a new one, but everything seems to be capped out at 30. Go to the center of the arena when you're ready to start. Okay, Mr. Torgy Torg. Alright. What you got in here today? Rolling Thunder? Yep, or Rolling Thunder. I got 200 tokens. I've been saving them back. Toodles! Toodles. What are we gonna get? Another shotgun? Yep, it's always a shotgun. A good explosive shotgun is actually not that bad. <clears throat> they are pretty good. I picked this up because it might be pretty good. My recharge rate could be a little bit better. This is better than that one. That the, yeah, the max health sucks on that one. Oh well. 
Corrosive Cloud. Wow. I used a little bit of this SMG ammo. <laughs> Just a smidge. <clears throat> Five minutes to defeat all this. To symbol for combat. Never get too comfortable. Hey, <laughs> didn't expect that, did you? Wow. How, dude? Not gonna make it. Nearly paid off the house. Nearly. <laughs> I'm good. For now. Barely used anything on ammo wise. Hey, Amen. Ah, I killed them both. Nice. Well, yeah, dude. The message is irrelevant if you died. I mean, dirt. <laughs> what creative ways can I kill these dudes? You didn't sign up for this, or why are you in the arena? <laughs> oh. I had to clear my throat there, sorry about that. I'll try to mute it. Wow. Got him. What happens when everybody shoots at you all at once? <laughs> oh, his feet fell out there. What the heck? Oh, there is Goliath in here. It's probably only in the arena, though. That's what killed me right there. This is Goliath. They take you out really quick. They got double dual rocket launchers. I can't remember the last time I actually did the arena. Besides the main storyline part of the DLC. Like I actually just do it in the arena. Right, I think that's good. I'm not gonna spit do those. We got the shop up here anyways. Number one. Always. Ain't that right guys? Papa Meerkat and Meerkat Nation is number one. Let's just get this out of the way. Yes, most of my merchandise was ripped from the hands of Dead Adventure. Didn't get anything new. Survive the appetite for destruction event by defeating the horde of horrors. Tier 2 difficulty. You survived the appetite for destruction. Yep, yep, yep. 3900 DXP, 10 tokens. Wow. Doesn't show the time limit on this. But if that keeps getting at level 50.
We'll just wait on that one and not go back. We'll go back to do a different quest. I'm almost low. I'm getting closer to level 50, but those guys will destroy me. I can tell you that. Is that the same quest over here? For the level 50 round? Yes. Okay. All right. Now we're going to go and check out what else we have. We got the, uh, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Death race interview forge. We got one thing at the forge. The commercial. So let's head back to uh, the forge. Is there a fast travel station? Anywhere? Yeah, I don't see one, but we could take a car. That'll work. I'm, I'm happy my computer's back up and running. Man, it had me scared, guys. That thing was cooking itself something fierce. It was giving me warnings and errors saying CPU is overheating, CPU is not functioning correctly, stuff like that. That's some scary stuff. Fast travel station. Is there one here? No, it's a dead. death race. I don't even know where I'm going. The forge is the opposite way here. That's Motor Mama's area right there. And over here should be the forge. Yeah, I did the, uh, my video, the, the most viewed video on my channel right now is the um, how to use the camera in LEGO Worlds. I got 43 or 42 views on it now, but I got one dislike. Like, man, sad. So anybody watching this video, go go and watch that uh, video and hit that like button. Let's see if we can counter that dislike. <laughs> Every time I see a dis dislike, it just makes me feel like I'm a failure. But I know that's not the case. It just makes me feel that way. I do the best I can, guys. That's, that's, that's all I can do. <laughs> Back to the forge, where the Sonic CD music plays. Yeah, yeah. All right, now let's see. Where's this quest at? And after we're done with this quest, I'll be probably pretty much mostly done with this DLC. And then next week on Monday, we will be starting the Hammerlock DLC. Oh, no, I did spend my uh, my um, Iridium. I had 83 of it or something like that, or 80 of them. And I sold, uh, or I bought grenades. I got nine instead of eight now. This gives me a chance to use that pistol, don't it? I don't know why. I don't want to unequip that weapon. To be honest. Actually, no. I want to equip something else. Lyuda? I even know the acid one would work for robots, of course, but the Lyuda is pretty good. It's a dart. It's a dart weapon. Okay. They have burst fires, but you don't miss all the time. And the burst is only two rounds at a time, too. It's not like a whole bunch of rounds that you miss 100% of the time. You just have to aim somewhat close to them. Got it. It's not bad. I just like the look of it. Looks like a toy. Yeah, you know, I don't mind coming back here only because I like the music. It's one of my favorite Sonic games ever made, besides 1 and 2, the originals. Sonic CD would be my next favorite because it has some awesome music. That game has some seriously good music. That I would recommend you guys going and just looking up Sonic CD soundtrack OST or whatnot and just listen to that. Or you could play the game too, that would be good. Man? Get off me.
He jumped all the way down there for no reason. Wow. My comic collection. I don't know how I missed that round so bad. Oh. Figures. I oh, knocked his helmet off and killed him at the same time. Kill is such a strong word. Murderer. Yeah, but you guys kill stuff all the time. What does that make you, huh? I didn't <laughs> from really? Sorry, man. Is that like the the buddy cop movies? I'd almost finished my comic, comic book collection. collection. Oh yes, yeah, it's that tape I saw in that box I took. You ever consider doing commercials? Mm-hmm. Blue gun. You have a pretty face. We want you in a commercial. Go grab a shipment of tour cuts, then find your way to the forge and we will film you. I'm gonna record my voice ah, before the commercial while you find it. Don't pay me any mind. Torque shotgun, huh? Okay, I guess I got equipped it. Don't really want it equipped it, but hey, what ifs? It works. Well, we gotta go on the other side of this area. Alright, let's work our way over there now. At least everything is open on this side of the world. Not locked behind gates constantly. <laughs> That's what makes the Laiuta so good, is that you can shoot so rapidly. How'd that feel, huh? Nice. Oh, instant. I shot him basically right in the nuts. Which is just insta killed him. <laughs> no criticals needed. Nut shots don't, they are the ultimate critical. <laughs> no matter what. Even overhead shots. There's still a chance you can survive a headshot. A small chance. But it still exists. Do I'm going back to where I fought the blimp. Looks like it. Kill bikers with tour guns. Does it, does it matter with any tour gun? Or does it have to be this? Yeah, it's starred. You would think this is a tour gun. It is a tour gun. Oh well. They want you to use this tour gun. Hi guys. <laughs> the only thing about these guns is that the that the uh, rounds are slow. Try to shoot ahead of him, but it didn't work quite as I expected. Hey, man. Just wait, I'll be up there and I'll take you down. Hit him once. Could have given me a shotgun that has more of a uh, magazine in there. And not something that's like two shots and it's out. That's pretty much all shotguns on the idea or Borderlands 2. They don't have very much of a magazine on them. I like how every time I shot he just turns just slightly to make sure I miss.
Wow, my health just keeps draining and draining and draining. It doesn't go up. That's how often you get shot here. It's just constant. Alright. Turn in this mission and we will be done. Except for turning in the other one. I think we still have the this one, the interview. So I might turn in this one too. Just to say that we are done done. Whoops. You died very quickly, dude. I'm sorry about that. Sorry that you're weak. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Worst comeback ever. Not really a comeback. Uh, worst insult ever, I guess you could say. This leads back to the beginning. We'll turn in this one, then go back to Moxie's bar. I think that's where I gotta turn in the other one. The interview one. Then we'll be done, and next week we're gonna be doing my least known DLC. Well, it's not my least uh, known. I've actually beaten it once after it came out. It was the Hammerlock DLC. The only DLCs I usually do almost on every run is the Pirate Booty DLC, the this one, uh, and the Dragon Keep DLC. And I usually leave the other ones alone. Yeah, I got some interesting creatures in the Hammerlock DLC, but that final boss was a disappointment. And I know they did it on purpose, but why exactly did you do that? They, they made it bad seriously on purpose it is it's awful when I get to that point if you don't know what I'm talking about you'll see let's get our butt out of here even though I like the music here for sure doesn't that look like it reminds you of the Iridium Blight Yes, yes we do. Kill bikers and forwards with that. You did a good job in Torg's uh, commercial. Who knows? You might have a future in acting. Your face is gonna look awesome on radio! This was better. Only because of the price. 3000 compared to 2000 Oh yeah. If the gun is our weapon or item is not useful, then always go for the highest price. I actually want to sell some of this junk real quick. Money. Nothing like a good sale. Mm. I'm guessing that slot is empty now. Most likely. What is that sniper up here? Oh, it filled up that slot. Right here. We'll go ahead and sell that. Yeah, that's all we had. Okay, never mind. Put this back here and put my quad back there. There we go. Back where we should be. And we're going to head back to the. Uh, and actually, yeah, there's a fast travel thing at the Moxie Bar. Try to find it here. It's probably up here. Right there it is. All right, last thing to do. Yay. Click Echo Recorders about a BA crater and contents of these interviews should uh, convince the other gladiators that A, you're a force to be reckoned with, and B, your trainer is really good. Or really weird, actually, yes. Now that you've brought those interviews back, they should play over the crater loudspeakers every once in a while. Take your time, sugar. What? You cut yourself off. Why? Why? Why is there a bow up there? Is that the uh, Marcus's uh, mercenary day DLC headhunter? But if I when I looked at the headhunter DLCs, I only own one on the PC, and that is the mercenary day one. I thought I had the rock gut one, which is uh, the distillery, but I'm not sure. I, I have to look again, but I, I think I only have one. 
headhunter DLC and I can't just spend money that's the problem I already spent $80 for a new CPU cooler that was a lot of money all right guys well I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and the content with herein and uh, I'll, uh, if you like the content and you like my videos or just uh, my channel in, in general hit that subscribe button to join on up let's see if we can get to 100 subscribers we got a 24 subscriber recently last week actually so I got 24 yes I'm almost a quarter or a uh, quarter away to 100 so all right guys well and um if you like my commentary you find it helpful funny or entertaining hit that like button to show you support and every time that like button gets hit YouTube recommends my content to more people so keep that in mind when you watch my stuff if you like the content that you are seeing then everybody else will too or a majority of everybody will so and uh, next time subscribe button you'll see a bell icon you hit that bell icon then you become part of the meerkat nation notification squad and when that happens you get notifications for everything i upload every day so you don't miss any of these awesome adventures all right guys well each and every one of you have an amazing day and i'll see you later bye bye